What's going on guys? Welcome to today's video. Now what we're going to be talking about today is, is the importance of treating every single rep within a set as a single, especially if you are actually a competitive powerlifter. Now let me explain. So let's say you've got, it doesn't matter whether you've got a set of three, a set of five, a set of six, a set of eight, or even a set of ten. Treat each and individual rep as a single. So go about it as, let's just say you've got a set of five, think about it as five singles. And what I mean by that is, be in the moment and stick with each rep one at a time and treat it as five singles. And the reason for that is, is it, that is going to develop the strongest movement pattern that will allow you to have the, 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 the best direct carryover into your powerlifting competition or your 1RMs, as let's face it, that is what powerlifting is, it is all about one rep. So what I mean by this is, when people have say got sets of five or sets of six, they tend to rush reps and forget certain cues. So let's just go for squats, for example, okay? Now with me, main cues are, I take a big deep breath in, I get it down right into my belly, so I, so I expand, I push into the belt, I draw my lats in, and then, I, and then I put focus pushing my hips back, and then I descend. So again, my cues are inhale and expand against the belt, pull the lats in, brace, push the hips back, and descend into the squat. Okay, so there are my cues. That is what I'm gonna do for my one rep maxes. So when I go to five reps, you should do that for each and every rep. Now what you tend to see sometimes is people go one, two, three, then they stop and then they go for the fourth and then they go for the fifth. But those first three reps aren't creating the, 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 the proper movement pattern and you're not going through all your cues, which is only going to inhibit your, 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 your sets where you're doing higher volume, where you're doing your five reps and your six reps and your eight reps. And by doing so, it is going to do a couple of things. First of all, it is going to allow you to get the most out of every single rep. So for example, if you follow all your cues to a T, you're gonna be able to perform better within each rep within an individual set. So performance is gonna be increased from it. And also what it's gonna do is mainly is it's gonna keep re reinstating and reintroducing that proper good movement pattern and by doing so it's going to have the greatest carryover effect onto your one rep maxes because it's going to be such second nature to you when you go for that one rep max or that two rep max you're not going to panic and you're not going to forget what you need to do because this whole 12 week training cycle every single rep you have been re-ingraining that proper movement pattern and re-ingraining all those cues so you know exactly what to do you know exactly to inhale and expand pull the lats in, brace, for me, push the hips back, get those knee, knees out, sink down until whatever your cues are, even if your cues are looking at six o'clock, so on and so forth, by constantly re-ingraining those cues, it's gonna have the greatest carryover when you go to your singles or even your doubles. Right guys, so I hope you've found this informative. Again, the main points to take from this is within each and every single set, focus on ha treating each rep as a single as it's going to allow you to get the most of your performance. It's going to constantly re a better movement pattern and it's going to make you very confident with your cues. So I hope you found today's video informative, guys. As always, if you've got any suggestions that you'd like me to go over, whether it be with voiceovers or videos like this, leave them down in the comments below and I'll speak to all of you guys next time. Just to step outside